Hello everybody, welcome to Park Talden on this wet October day when we're here to join the junior football final and the teams that enter the field is the newly formed club St Ultons versus Trim. The uh, Ultons team now, in goals Hubert Charlin, number two Colin Burke, number three Vincent Rennix, number four Matty Rogers, five David Fay, six Tommy Casserly, number seven Richie Farnan, number eight Peter Marley, nine David Brady. 10, Justin Travers, 11, Michael Buchanan, 12, Michael Moriarty, 13, Declan Hart, 14, Ken Rennix, and 15, Desi Morta. That's the Alton's team. Let's have a look at the trim line out. In Who, who's referee in that? The trim team in goals, Michael Byrne. Number two, Michael Malone, number three, Ronan Foley, four, Tom Gibbons, five, Paul Dunn, number six, Keith McEvoy, number seven, Declan Rispin, number eight, Terry Brady, nine, Frank Foley, ten, Martin McCaffrey, eleven, Michael Nocton, and twelve, Michael Smith, thirteen, John McEvoy, fourteen, Pat Borden, and number fifteen, Jack Kennedy. That's the trim line out. Now, your referee for this game today is Pat Smith from Castletown. Next couple of minutes now, we'll have action. Trim now, slight favourites here for this game. Pat Smith now getting ready to throw in the ball any minute now. That's good, yeah. The ball is in and the game is on and first to break away is trim. It's held by Terry Brady. Brady now tips the ball out towards Jack Kennedy, sends it along in towards free there on John McEvoy the free now will be taken by Alan Smith the number 12 stands back the ball drops it in Towards the goalkeeper Hubert Carlin. He's in possession, throw to hand. He then kicks right footed. Where it goes on towards David Brady. Brady now is tackled and he'll be awarded a free. One he will take from the hand, right footed, cross the field where it goes towards Michael Moriarty. It's knocked away where it goes no further than Declan Hart. Hart now with the ball, he's tackled. He fists it back there towards the man himself. David Brady right footed where it goes in towards Ken Rennix one of the greats Ken now with the ball he's fouled and he'll be awarded a free a foul there by Ronan Foley the free now will be taken by Desi Murta one of the great names in the parish of football 40 or maybe 45 or maybe a bit along with it well he stands back here he comes he sends it high and he sends it over the bar for the opening score well, just after one minute of play, St. Ultons one pint, trim no score. See Minnie Dunn there looking very anxious. Michael Bourne now placing the ball on the 21 yard line. Stands back. Here he comes, right for the towards the centre of the field. Hands reaching. It's held. And well held where it goes towards David Brady. Brady now with the ball. He then kicks a right footer one. Cross the centre where it's cleared away by Keith McEvoy. McEvoy now right footed. Cross the side of the field. The a tussle for possession. The ball is won there by Martin McCaffrey. A shortish one. Then right footed where it goes towards Tommy Castley. He can't quite hold on to it. But the man that does is number 11 Michael McNaughton. The shot goes to the right and it's wide. Well, a quite close one there now. Hubert Carlin placing the ball on the five yard line.
Here he comes towards the centre of the field, hands reaching. It's held by Keith McEvoy, but it's taken away by Tommy Castle. He's fouled and he'll be awarded a free. Tommy now going to take this one himself. Longish one. Goes out Justin Traver. He can't quite hold on to it. But the man that does is Tom G G Gibbons. Gibbons now sends it to the left and it's over the line for a line ball for St. Dalton's. Kick there. High in towards Ken Rennick's knocked by Desi Morton where it goes to Ronan Foley. Right footed over this side of the field. They've a race for possession. Colin Buck is there. He holds his shoulder. It's gone over the line. And it'll be a line ball for Trim. Quick one taken by Jack Kennedy. Tussle for possession. Vincent Rennix. So too is jo Pat Bourne. It's kicked right footed. High. Dropping. In under it there. Is the man himself. Jack Kennedy, but it's held in the centre of the field there by Frank Foley, then kicks it right footed, across this side, Tommy Castley is there, but it beats him and it's gone over the line, gone wide, well we just make it about three minutes in the opening half, St Dalton's one pint, trim, no score. Hubert now, placing the ball for this kick out. On the five yard line, maybe six. He kicks towards the centre. Where it goes there towards Jack Ken John McEvoy. McEvoy now with the ball. He fists it out towards Tom Gibbons. It go slips through the hands of Hubert Carroll that ends up in the net. Well, Hubert, not a nice way to start. Well, it all came there from a short kick out. Well, it happened Paddy Cullen, so why not happen Hubert? The kick towards the centre of the field. Hands reaching, knocked away there. Where it breaks, out to the left. Where it goes to Martin McCaffrey. McCaffrey now right-footed, in towards the goals. Where it goes there towards Jack Kennedy. But it goes on towards Hubert Carlin. He fists it back towards Colin Buck. Buck now with the ball, right foot across this side of the field. Tussled for possession. David Brady is there. So too is Keith McEvoy. But it's Brady who wins possession. He's tackled. He's on the ground. Looking for assistance, and now the referee, well, a strange decision, Pat, but one he gave. The kick to be taken by Terry Brady. Well, it's a quick one by Frank Foley, shortish, where it goes towards Martin McCaffrey. McCaffrey's hooshed off the ball there by Justin Traverf. Or, sorry, David Fay, I should say. Hubert now placing the ball for this kick. Stands back. In towards the wing. Hand reaching held by Peter Marley and well held. Marley now shortish one. It was meant there for Justin Travers but doesn't get there. Instead it's cleared away by the whole heart of Decky Rispin. Rispin now sent it along. We're tussled for it. It's won there by Vincent Rennix. Or is it? Well Vincent is hooshed over the line. And it's gone wide. Well, after just four, five minutes of play, St. Dalton's one pint, trim one goal. Hubert now stands back. Here he comes. Towards the side of the field. In under is Peter Marley, but it's boxed away by Frank Foley. Where it goes to number 11 there, Michael McNaughton. McNaughton, a shortage one. It's held by Hubert Carlin. Carlin now out the side of the field. In under there is David Brady and held. He fists it on there towards Michael Buchanan. Buchanan now with the ball right footed. Where it goes in towards Desi Motta, but it's knocked away. Desi now wins it again. A shortish one. In towards Michael Moriarty. Moriarty now with the ball a hop. He loses it. Then gains it. He kicks it across the centre. It goes to Ken Rennix. Rennix takes a shot. It's high on it's over the bar. And what a player he is. Well, a well worked ball. Right from the. Full back line down to the other end and a great score there by Ken, one of the greats in the 70s and 80s and still great in the 90s. Well, Michael Borton now placing the ball for this kick out. Here he comes towards the right side of the field, hands reaching. 
The ball breaks, but it's held there by the man himself, Tom Gibbons. Gibbons now is tackled and he'll be awarded the free. Paul Dunn now to take the kick. Shortish one, where it's held by Peter Marley. Marley now sends it long in towards Ken Rennix. Ken reaches, so too the Ronan Foley, but the ball breaks out. Where it's cleared by Keith McEvoy towards the side of the field, where it goes to Tom Gibbons. Gibbons now right footed, shortish one. Goes towards Martin McCaffrey. McCaffrey is tackled there. He shakes it off, he loses possession. He loses possession there to Richie Farnan. And it take ta a bit of hushy pushy, but we'll follow the play. Well, it's going to hop the ball now, Pat Smith. Just between Richie and his opponent. He throws it in. The ball breaks, but it's held by Richie Farnan. He's awarded another free. A shortish one. Where it goes towards Matty Rogers. Matty now with the ball. Shortage one. In towards Ken Rennix. It's knocked away. Where it goes to Ronan Foley. Foley now with the ball. His tackle shakes it off and he loses the possession. It goes towards Justin Traver. A left for the one in towards Ken Rennix, but it's gone too far and it's gone wide. Well, an enjoyable game now in this opening 10 minutes. Michael Borden placing the ball for the kick out. Here he comes, towards the centre of the field. The ball is broken down, for it goes to Keith McEvoy, but he's tackled and he'll be awarded a free. Tackled there by David Brady, I think. Keith McEvoy now is short, he's one towards the right side of the field. Chasing for this Martin McCaffrey, he holds it, he's tackled by Richie Varn, he'll be awarded a free. The free is quickly taken in towards Terry Brady, held by Terry Brady, then kicks across. A good kick, and it's gone high, and it's gone over the bar for Trim's first pint. After just nine minutes of play, Trim 1-1, one, one, St. Ulton's one pint. Hubert Carlin out to place the ball on the 21. He stands back. Here he comes, kicks towards the side of the field, in under is Peter Marley, so too is Terry Brady, but the ball breaks towards Tommy Castley, it's taken away there by Alan Smith, Smith is tackled by Colin Buck, and it's still, well a bit of hold in there by Colin, and Alan Smith will be awarded a free. This one about... 28, 30 yards out from the Ultons post. Alan Smith to take this one himself. Stands back, kicks, Corlin, hits the upright where it lands to Tommy Castley. He's tackled. He then fisted out towards Matty Rogers, but it's gone over the line at the expense of a 45. Decky Rispin out, placing the ball for this 45. Stands back. Here he comes. He kicks towards the right side of the field. Matty Rogers is there. So too is Jack Kennedy. Kennedy now is tackled. He's on the ground. And a free for holding too long. Well, Jack, you should have got rid of it when you had the chance. Matty Rogers now to take this kick out. Long one towards the left side of the field. Racing there is Frank Foley. So too is Declan Hart, but it's gone over the line for a line ball. Wanda will be taken by Frank Foley. Foley now kicks a long one in towards the goals. Hands reaching. The ball is knocked away there by Alan Smith. Smith now tackled by Vincent Rennix. Handles the ball on the ground and it'll be a kick out. Vincent Rennix now to take this kick. 
from the hands high one curl on this side of the field in under his deck he half with his fist to the way where it goes to Tommy Castle Castle now sends it right footed towards Justin Travers it's knocked away there by the man himself Decky Respin he fisted short a tackle there and it comes across this side of the field towards Terry Brady Brady now gets the ball up on his toe then kicks a shortage one it goes in towards Pat Bryan short low but it's gone to the left and it's gone wide well a bit of slack mark and there on the back Ultons Hubert now placing the ball for this kick out 13 minutes into the opening half here he comes right footed it caught, held in the air knocked away there for a goal towards Keith McAvoy across the side of the field chasing it is Matty Rogers he's on the ground he's on his feet down on it he picks the ball up he's still in possession kicks it right footed for it goes towards David Brady but it's knocked away there for it goes to Tommy Casterly Casterly now a right footed one was meant for Michael Moriarty but intercepted this one comes in high in under his Colin Burke tussled for possession ball breaks out to the left where it goes to Michael Nocton Nocton now right footed across this side of the field Tussled for possession. Vincent Rennix is there and so too is Pat Bryan. Bryan now gets the ball up. He hops it. Then kicks it back in towards the goals. Tommy Castle is there but he can't hold on to it. It's cleared away by Richie Farnan. Peter Marley so too. Peter gets the ball up. Hops it. Then kicks it. In towards Ken Rennix. Ken fists it on where it goes towards Desi Morta. Morta can't quite hold on to but Ronan Foley does. He then fists it out towards that side of the field where it goes towards the man himself there, Paul Dunn. Dunn is tackled. Towards Frank Foley. He's on the ground. He'll be awarded a free. Paul Dunn to take this kick. Well, Decky Rispin is coming across to take this one. Bit of bunching out around the centre. Decky Rispin's kick. Dropping. Knocked away by Matty Rogers towards Tommy Castley and held by Tommy Castley. He's on the ground. And he'll be awarded a free by, from a tackle there by John McEvoy. Ball is out into Mickey Moriarty. Moriarty now left footed in towards Desi Morta. It goes on where it's taken away by Ronan Foley. Foley now fisted out towards Paul Gibbons. Gibbons now sends it high. It's fisted by Declan Hart on towards Mickey Buchanan where it goes to Desi Morta. Desi now is tackled and tackled hard but it's taken away by Michael Buchanan. Buchanan now he fisted back towards Declan Hart. Hart now right footed in towards Justin Travers. Travers now a right footed shot. Half block for it goes to Ronan Foley. Foley now with the ball, hops it, then kicks right foot toward this side of the field. It's knocked away. In there is Peter Marley. Marley is tackled and he'll be awarded a free. And one he deserves. That tackle committed there by Frank Foley. Peter now placing this ball for this kick. About 40 yards out and about 21 in from the sideline. Peter steadies himself. Here he comes, right footed. It's gone high, it's gone to the right and it's gone wide. Well, better luck next time, Peter. Michael Burton now placing the ball on the five yard line. Here he comes. Kicks towards the centre of the field. In under his Declan Hart, it's knocked away towards Desi Morty can't hold on to what Michael Moriarty does the man with the long hair sends it in towards Justin Travers but it's held there by Michael Borden Borden then fists the shortage one towards Michael Malone Malone can't hold on to it it goes off the boot of Desi Morty at the expense of a line ball well the line ball to be taken by Michael Moriarty in towards the centre one that was meant for Ken Rennix but it's half knocked away it's cleared there by Michael Malone right footed it's held by Tommy Cassidy it's on the, he has the ball up in his hand, right to, for the chip. And there towards David Brady. Brady now is tackled and shakes it off. Then sends it right footed. In under it is the man himself, Ken Rennix. Ken is on the ground. The ball is knocked away there. Toe to hand. 
a tackle and a hefty tackle. He's still going toe to hand. He's on the ground. He'll be awarded the free. Well, a hefty tackle there by on Alan Smith there by Michael Buchanan. Well, Michael, you're lucky not going into the little book. Well, Alan Smith still on the ground, receiving attention. Well, he may be winded. We don't know. Well, he's on his feet. And he will resume play. Just free now to be taken by Decky Rispin. Rispin stands back. Here he comes. Right footed in towards the goals. In under there is Vincent Rennix, but it's gone over the heads of both and it's gone wide. Well, 17 minutes gone in the opening half, or maybe 18 minutes. Ball being placed there by Hubert Carlin. Here he comes with the kick. Shortage one towards the centre. In under is Tommy Cassidy. Can't hold on to what Alan Smith does. Throw to hand. Smith now with the ball. He loses possession. For it goes there to Martin McCaffrey. But it's cleared away by Matty Rogers. And clear too far because it's over the line for a line ball. Line ball for Trim. Well, the rain has cleared. Frank Foley coming across to take this kick. He hits it right-footed, across the centre. Knocked away by Declan Hart, where it goes back towards Frank Foley. Foley now is tripped and he'll be awarded a free. Fouled there by David Brady. He kicks it right-footed. In towards Brian Burney, can't hold on to it. He gives it back heel where it goes towards Colin Burke and Martin McCaffrey. The red tussle for possession and well a foul there on Colum and it'll be a free out. One that will be taken by Colum himself. Right footed towards this side of the field. In under this David Brady, so too is Frank Foley. Well it goes off the hands of Frank Foley and it'll be a line ball for St. Dalton's. One to be taken by Peter Marley. Well, I think it's David Brady that's on the ground, receiving attention. Well, Peter stands, waiting to take this free. Ball tucked under the arm. He must have heard me because he dropped it. on his feet and will resume play. Nice little clap from the crowd. Peter now to take this kick. Right footed long in towards Ken Rennix and Ronan Foley. Well the tosses for possession is booted away by Michael Moriarty at the expense of a 45. Forty-five now to be taken by Peter Marley. Peter now placing the ball on the forty-five yard line. Well, a bit of hushy pushy going on in there. Peter now with the kick, a long one going towards the left. Hands reaching. It's held in there by Tom Gibbons. He sends it right for the towards the side of the field where it goes to Terry Brady. Brady now is tackled and shakes it off. He hops it. Then his shortish one. One that's going to be cut away by Tommy Cassidy with his left foot. He boots it along the ground back towards Tom Gibbons. Long the ground. Tussle for possession. Richie Farnan is there. So too is Paul Dunn. Right footed. Well, a foul there by Tommy. Be afraid to trim. 
will be taken by Alan Smith. Well, after 20, 21, two minutes of play, the kick, shortage one, in towards the goals. The ball breaks loose, chasing Adira's Declan Hart. Down on the ball, gets it up on his foot. He's tackled by Tom Gibbons. He clears it. Where goes towards Jack Kennedy. Kennedy now with the ball, toe to hand. Right footed, sends it high, and he sends it over the bar. Very good score. Well, after 23 minutes of play, the score remains. Trim, 1-2. St. Ultons, two points. Three points between them. Hubert now placing the ball for this kick out. Stands back. Here he comes. Right for the towards the centre of the field. It's boxed away. Where it goes towards Jack Kennedy. Kennedy now with the ball. He hops it. He's on the ground. He'll be awarded a free. Free to be taken out by Alan Smith. About 40 yards out. Maybe 41. Here he comes. Right footed. Goes towards the left. Held. By Frank Foley's on the ground. It's booted out towards Jack Kennedy. Kennedy now with the ball. A hop. Then a fist to pass. That was meant for Terry Brady, but intercepted by Declan Hart. It's fist to back towards Jack Kennedy. Kennedy now with the left foot. It's high. And it's over the bar. Well, Jack, you're getting a bit too much room. Twenty-four minutes gone in the opening half. Trim one three. St. Ultons, two pints. Hubert now placing the ball on the 21. He stands back. Here he comes. Right for the shortage one. Ball breaks loose. Richie Farnell is there, but so too is Matty Rogers. Rogers now hops the ball, then kicks it right for the towards the side of the field, but it's gone too far to the right, and it's over the line for a line ball for Trim. Alan Smith now to take this line ball. Sends a shortage one. It's caught off by Declan Hart. Declan Hart is tackled by Tom Gibbons. Gibbons now gets the ball. Toe to hand. He's still in possession but loses it. It's taken away by Jack Kennedy. He can't hold on to it either. But the man that does is Martin McCaffrey. McCaffrey is fisted back towards Terry Brady. Brady now with the right foot. It's gone to the right and it's gone wide. Hubert Carner placing the ball on the five yard line. Here he comes. Towards the centre of the field, hands reaching the ball, breaks for breaks to Tommy Castle, right footed. In towards Ken Rennix. Ken can't just quite hold on to it. He's hooshed there by Ronan Foley, but then he boots it along the ground. Well, it's cut off there. Out towards Martin McCaffrey. McCaffrey now half blocked down. Ball hopping there. It's held by Terry Brady. Brady fists it. It's booed along the ground in towards Jack Kennedy. Kennedy now with the ball. It fists the one out towards Tom Gibbons. Gibbons now tackled. He loses possession. Well, a foul there. He'll be awarded a free. Free to be taken out by Alan Smith. Thirty yards out from Dalton's post. Here he comes with a kick, calling in. To, it's high and it's over the bar. Well, after 26 minutes of play, trim one four. St. Dalton's two points. Hubert Carlin are placing the ball for this kick out. 
Here he comes. Shortage one towards the right. Knocked away. Racing for his Colin Buck. He's in possession. Colin now with the ball. Left footed towards the side of the field. In under this Ken Rinnick. So two of Roland Foley. And it's held by Roland Foley. Foley now with the ball. Fisted. A shortage one towards Frank Foley. A bit of brotherly love. Well he gets the ball now. Toe to hand. And he's still going toe to hand. Toe to hand still. Then a shortage one. It's booed along the ground where it goes to Tommy Catherley. It's knocked away. Well Tommy will be awarded a free. Across the side of the field, racing for two is David Brady. Brady now all on his own. He gets possession, then kicks it right footed. Well, it's gone to the left and it's gone over the line for a line ball to trim. Line ball now for trim to be taken by Michael Malone. Here he comes with a kick from the hand right towards the side of the field. In under his Tommy Castle on his chest, holds and holds well, then hops it. Then kicks it right footed towards the left. In under his Ken Rennicks and held by Ken. A shortage one towards the side of the field. For the goes towards Declan Hart, a great ball there by Ken. He kicks it right footed. Well, the umpire has hand up for a 45. It's 45 now will be taken by Peter Marley. About 45 yards out, maybe 46. Here he comes with the kick. Well, it's curls left. Held there by Michael Borden. Borden now kicks a shot as one towards the side of the field. Chased it as Frank Foley. But David Brady is also there. The ball breaks. In under is Justin Traver. He can't get to it either. Well, it's over the line. And it'll be a line ball. Will be taken out by Frank Foley. Foley now kicks a shot as one. Where it's held by Martin McCaffrey. McCaffrey then fisted on towards Terry Brady. Brady is tackled. Then he kicks a shot as one right footed. The ball is cut off there by Vincent Rennicks. Vincent now with a little left for the chip. Where it goes across towards David Brady. Brady now in possession. Chips it towards Des Morta. Des now with the ball. He's on the ground. I'll be awarded a free. One to quickly take it from the hand. In towards Michael Moriarty on his chest. He holds and holds well. He then hops it. Gets it up toe to hand again. Well, he's a tackle and he'll be awarded a free. This free will be taken by Desi who got the opening score. This one now about 35 yards out. As he stands back. Here he comes with the kick. A lowish one. In towards Michael Buchanan. But it goes to Ken Rennick. Ken now goes left. Then goes toe to hand. He then fists it back towards Desi Morta. Desi is tackled. And now he hops it. He's tackled by Roland Foley. And he's still in possession. Well Desi will be awarded a free. And one that he deserves. Well, Delhi to take this free now, about 23 yards out from the trim posts. As you now placing the ball. Steadies himself, pulls up the tugs, and here he comes. Kicks. It goes to the right, and it's sorry to say, but it's wide, wide, wide. Well, Desi, you kicked harder once. Well, that's the end of a sporting first half. Trim 1-4, St. Dalton's two pints. We'll be back with action very shortly. We're away on a commercial break. Here, myself and Raymond. He's tackled and he'll be awarded a free out. Well, Tommy now is having a quite good game. Kicks this one towards Justin Traver. Justin now is still in possession. He gets the ball. He's tackled and tackled hard and he'll be awarded a free. One he will take from the hand. He kicks it right for the towards this side of the field but there's no one there to collect it. 
chase for possession there. Grabbed by Michael Malone. Malone is tackled and he'll be awarded a free. Malone now takes this from the hand, right footed. Ball breaks. It's kicked by Terry Brady, right footed. It's going out towards the wing, chasing it as Matty Roger and so too. Matty is hooshed off the ball. Tussle for possession, Alan Smith now winning the free. Alan Smith now with the kick, right footed, across the centre. Held by Frank Foley, hops it, he's tackled, he's still in possession, then he fists it out towards Jack Kennedy who sends it high and he sends it over the bar. Well after 11, 8 or 9 minutes of play, Trim 1-5, St. Ultons 3 points. 5 points separating them. Hubert Carla now placing the ball for this kick out. Here he comes. Right footed towards the centre. Hands are reaching. The ball is held by Alan Smith. Toe to hand, a hop and toe to hand again. He's still going toe to hand. He's tackled. He's still in possession. A left footed kick. It's high, it's good, and it's over the bar. Trim now. Move into a six point lead. Trim 1 6. St. Ultons, three points. The kick towards the side of the field. Held by Brendan Foley. Foley now is tackled. He's still in possession. He hops the ball. Then kicks it right-footed. Shortage one. In there is Vincent Rennix. So too is Jim Bryan. Well, the ball has gone over the line. Via line ball. A wide ball. Hubert Carla now with this kick out. Here he comes towards the side of the field. Hands reaching, the ball breaks. A good kick, but it's gone to the right and it's gone wide. Another sub warming up for Trim. Number 19, Martin Kelly, I think. Bit of a switch now. David Brady moves back. Well, we follow the play. Brendan Foley saw to Tommy Casterly. He pulls. It goes across the far side of the field. Chasing it as Declan Hart. And he's been chased by Decky Risp. And well, he boots it along the ground. Where it goes towards David Fay. Fay now with the ball. Toe to hand. He then kicks the shot. He's running towards Michael Moriarty. The ball breaks. Moriarty now gets the ball. He tips it. Or goes towards David Brady. Back toward, but it's cut off by Ronan Foley. Foley now with the ball. A fisted one. Goes across towards Declan Rispin. Rispin now in possession. Right footed. Held by Martin McCaffrey. He sends it out towards Jack Kennedy. He sends it right footed. And there is Jack McAvoy. Kicks it left footed, but it's knocked over the bar. Came off the hands there of Hubert Carlin. That's Jack Kennedy's third point of the game. Well, Trim 1-7, St. Ultons 3 points. Hubert Carlin now with this kick out off from the 21 yard line. Kicks, shortage one. Declan Hart reaches. The ball breaks. Well, it goes on towards Jim Bryan. He fisted, was taken away by Vincent Rennix. Vincent now fisted on towards Colin Buck. Buck now picks the ball up, then kicks it. On towards Declan Hart and Michael Moriarty. Well, it's gone over the line and to be a line ball. Line ball for Trim to be taken by Declan Rispin. Here he comes with a kick. Long one. Ball breaks loose where well, it goes to Peter Marley, but there must have been a push. It's a free, a quick taking one. Yeah, 
Pat Smith now calling for the ball. Is he going to hop it? Yes, he is. The ball is thrown in. Peter Marley can't quite hold on to it, but Alan Smith does. Smith now kicks a shortage one. For his held by Martin McCaffrey. McCaffrey's kick has gone to the right and it's gone wide. Well, there was a substitute on the Ultons team. Number 23, Eddie Rispin. Replacing Michael Buchanan. No, Michael is still on the field. Colin Brook, I think that's going off. Yes, it is. Well, we'll follow the play. Michael Burden. Hubert Carlin kicks towards the centre. Held by Brendan Foley. He's still in possession. He's tackled. It's cut off by Michael Buchanan. He then fists it on towards David Fay. Fay now toe to hand and he's still going toe to hand. He then kicks a shot. He's one towards the side of the field. Ball is knocked away. For a kick by Tom Gibbons. Right footed. Towards the side of the field. Held. By Michael McNaughton. Right footed. Then sends it on towards Martin McCaffrey. McCaffrey now with the ball. Toe to hand. And he's still going toe to hand. He's on the ground. He's tackled by Matty Rogers and it's a free out for charging with the ball Hubert Carlin out to take this kick out kicks towards the side of the field ball breaks held by Frank Foley he boots it along the ground Kicked in there by Jack Kennedy, but it's held by Tommy Castley. Castley now, right footed. Long kick, ball breaks. Declan Hart is there, so too. Tussle for possession. Terry Brady now with the kick. Dropping in the hands of Hugh O'Brien, he loses possession, and it's in the back of the net. A goal by Pat Bryan. Oh, Hubert, you should have held that one. It could be costly. Well, St. Olsen's now with a lot to do to try and pull back this lead. Trim, 2-7. St. Olsen's three points. Martin Kelly is in on the Trim team. John McEvoy is coming off. Well, we'll follow the play. Hubert now with the kick towards the centre of the field. Hands reaching. Ball breaks loose. Quickly taken free towards Peter Marley. Marley now is tackled by Keith McEvoy. McEvoy wins possession. He then boots it right footed. Towards Eddie Rispin. Held by Eddie Rispin. Alderson. Trim player down injured. Declan Rispin that's injured. Quickly taken free towards Peter Marley. Marley now with the ball. Toe to hand. Then kicks the short. He's one towards Michael Moriarty. Moriarty now with the ball. Left footed. In crowds the goals. Hands are reaching. It's fisted by Desi Morta. Well, it comes across this side towards Michael Buchanan. Buchanan now in position. Well, it's gone oh, too far. And it's a be a 45 from this side of the field. Will be taken. This free will be taken by Justin Travers. Shortage one. Kicks it in. Hands reaching in. Peter Marley's there. So too is Keith McEvoy. McEvoy boots it out towards this side of the field. Ball breaks. Or goal to Decky Hart to Michael Buchanan. Buchanan is tackled, he shakes it off. His kick is half blocked where it breaks to Desi Morta. Morta's kick to his half block. Keith McEvoy now boots it along the ground. Racing for this Desi Morta. Foul there by Tom Gibbons and Desi will be awarded a free, a quick one in towards Michael Moriarty. Hops the ball. He's tackled and he'll be awarded a free. Free is quickly taken towards Justin Travers. Back towards Desi Morta. Desi now half blocked. Tom Gibbons now in possession. He's tackled by Michael Moriarty. He'll be awarded a free for a little boot that went in there.
Tom Gibbons now to take the kick. Short is run towards Frank Foley and held by Frank Foley. He then boots it right footed towards Terry Brady. Brady now holds possession. He's still in possession and he kicks it. Or it goes in towards Jim Brain and then it goes out towards the man himself, Jack Kennedy. He then sends it across towards Pat Brain. Kicks high, it's good and it's over the bar. Trim, 2-8, St. Ultons, 3 points. Well, we make it about 24 minutes gone in the second half. Hubert Carlin out with the kick towards this side of the field. Towards Ken Rennicks, he just can't quite get to, but Frank Foley does. Foley is tackled. Shakes it off and then boots the ball in towards his brother Brendan, but it's cut off by Tommy Cassidy. Cassidy now will be awarded a free. One he will take himself. Here he comes with the kick. Hand reaching, ball breaking, where it goes to Justin Traverf. Justin is tackled. He'll be awarded a free. Richie Farnan now it looks going to take this one, or is he? No, Matty Rogers comes to take it. Bit of pushing going on there. Well, the kick in under is Desi Murta. So too is Peter Marley. But coming up with the ball is Frank Foley. It's then booted away by Tom Gibbons towards this side of the field. Well, it's gone too far and it'll be a line ball to Dalton's. Another substitute on the Alton's team. Joe Lee, he is moving in. I think it's Desi Murta who's gone off. Tommy now with the kick. Held in the air. Ball breaks loose. Booted along the ground there by Richie Farnan. For a break towards Peter Marley. He can't get to it. Keith McEvoy gets a left for the kick. Towards Alan Smith. He boots it towards this side of the field. Towards Brendan Foley. Foley now with the ball. A hop. And then kicks it. Longish one. Matty Rogers is there, but he loses the ball to Alan Smith. Smith now, toe to hand. He's still going toe to hand. Uh -huh. He fists it back. For it's kicked to the right, and it's gone wide. Well, Martin Kelly, they kicked that one wide. Hubert Carner placing the ball for this kick out. The score, Tim 2-8, St. Alton's three points. Well, here he comes with the kick. Long one towards the centre of the field. Hands are reaching. It's flisted on by David Favour. It goes no further than Frank Foley. Foley hops it. Toe to hand and then fists it. When it goes in towards John McAvoy. He then boots it right footed towards this side of the field. Racing for it is Matty Rogers. He gets the ball up. He then boots it, but his kick is blocked there by Martin Kelly. He regains possession. Then fists it back towards Richie Farn and Richie now with the ball. A hop and then toe to hand. Toe to hand again. And he's still in possession. Richie now then kicks the shortage one. Well, he'll be awarded a free. A short one. Towards Peter Marley. He can't get to it. But Keith McEvoy does. McEvoy now with the ball. Booted right footed. Eddie Rispin is there. So too is Jack Kennedy. It goes to Kennedy. Kennedy now right footed. Half blocked. Where it breaks to Matty Rogers. Rogers now. Gets the ball up and then boots it towards the far side of the field. It's chased by Pat Bryan. He's tackled there by David Fair, but then kicks it left footed. For it goes on towards Brendan Foley. Brendan Foley now with the ball. He loses it and regains it. Then kicks a high kick. It's still in the air. It's gone to the right and it's gone wide. Well, about six minutes left in the game, I would say. Hubert now placing the ball on the five-yard line for this kick-out. Here he comes, right towards the centre of the field. Declan Hart is there. So too is Declan Rispin. Rispin now boots it to the right, and it's gone wide.
Here comes Hubert now with the kick towards the side of the field. Hands reaching. Goes to Terry Brady. Brady now with the ball. He then boots it to the right. And well to the right and it's gone wide. Eleven points the margin now at the minute. Big lead to try to haul back. Hubert now placing the ball for the kick. Here he comes. Right for the towards this side of the field. Hands reaching. Ken Rennix is there, so too is Brendan Foley. But the ball breaks there towards Martin Kelly. Kelly now kicks it along the ground where it goes towards Alan Smith. Smith boots it. It goes across towards Pat Brain. Brain now right footed. High. It's good. And it's over the bar. Trim. 2 9. St. Alton's 3 pints. We make it about four or five minutes left in the game. Hubert now placing the ball on the 21 yard line. Here he comes with the kick. Held there by Brendan Foley. He boots it right footed. In there is Eddie Rispin, but so too is Pat Bryan. Bryan now is tackled. He's on the ground. Well, he's up again and then he hops the ball. Kicks a shortish one. Cross for, towards Alan Smith. Alan Smith in possession now. Left footed. Shot. It's gone to the right. A very good save there by Hubert Carlin. At the expense of a 45, but he did well to save it. It was a rasping shot there by the number 12, Alan Smith. 45 now to be taken by Declan Rispin. Another sub on the trim team. Number 18, Eamon Munley. He's replacing Jack Kennedy, I think it is. Declan Rispin now with the kick. Here he comes. Shortage one low. Tommy Cassidy boots it away. Tussle for possession between Keith McAvoy and Peter Marley. Well, McAvoy chips it along the ground. Held there by Pat Bryan. Bryan now kicks it right footed. Held by Hubert Carlin. He then fists it out towards Michael Buchanan. Buchanan now in possession. A fist that went back towards Richie Farnan. Richie now hops the ball. Then he sort of loses it but regains it. The ball is taken away there by Terry Brady. Brady in possession. Well, a bit of turning and twisting and be a free now to St. Dalton's. Shortage one. Kicked. Held by Michael Buchanan. His kick is also half blocked. Justin Travers there on holes. Justin now hops the ball. Then boots it left footed. Up the left where it goes chased by Ronan Foley and David Brady. Foley is on the ground. He then kicks it right footed towards this side of the field. Terry Brady is there, so too is Michael Buchanan. And so too is Brendan Foley. The ball breaks, it's cleared by Tommy Cassidy and knocked away by Terry Brady. Where it goes no further than Richie Farnham, he can't quite hold on to it. But Martin Kelly fouls it on the ground, it'll be a free to the Dalton's, quickly taken. Meant for Ken Rennicks, but intercepted by Brendan Foley. The ball breaks out towards Matty Rogers. He kicks it in right footed towards David Fay. Fay now right footed towards this side of the field. Where it's chased by Ken Rennicks and held by Ken. One of the old great stars. He then boots it in towards David Brady. was knocked away by Ronan Foley. Where it goes to Tom Gibbons. Gibbons now kicks it towards Terry Brady. It breaks out to Brendan Foley. Foley now is tripped. He then fists it out back towards Terry Brady. Brady now is tackling and then boots it right footed towards this side of the field. Vincent Rennix is there. So too is Pat Bryan but Vincent wins possession and kicks it right footed. Well it goes out towards David Fay. Fay now with the ball. A little chip on towards Peter Marley. Marley now with the ball. A hop. And then boots it right footed in towards the goals. But it's held by Michael Borden. Borden down boots it out towards the side of the field. Where it's chased by Justin Traver. Run held by Justin Traver. He then kicks a left footed shot. It's high. It's good. And it's over the bar for the Ultons' fourth pint. Well, a very good score. Stephen Yo now is on the Ultons team. I think it's Declan Hart that's going off. Well, two, about two minutes left in the game. Michael Burton now placing the ball for this kick out. Here he comes. Right for the towards this side of the field. Hands reaching. Michael Buchanan knocks it down towards Ken Rennix. It's held by Ken. Then a little sidestep. He's still in possession. He's tackled and it'll be awarded a free. And one he deserves. Ken now right footed in towards the goals. 
ball breaks loose. P knocked away by Tom Gibbons towards this side of the field. Well, it's going over the sideline. It'll be a line ball to Dalton's. Michael Buchanan in a hurry to get a ball, and could you blame him? Michael now kicks to the right. Peter Marley is there. It's booted along the ground. It goes towards Alan Smith. Smith now then kicks it right foot. It's towards the side of the field. Ball skids along the ground to a tussle for possession. Matty Rogers is there. Ball there picked up there by Mark McCaffrey. It goes to Alan Smith. Smith now boots it right footed. For it lands there with Martin McCaffrey. He then sends it across towards Pat Bryan. He sends it high. It's good. It's over the bar. For Trim's 10 pint of the match. Trim 2-10. St. Ulton's 4 pints. Why make it about one minute left in the match? Very entertaining game. Hubert Carlin are placing the ball for this kick out. Here he comes, right foot, towards the centre of the field. Hands reaching, held by Peter Marley and well held. Then a little toe to hand. And then it kicks the chip one. It's taken away by Ronan Foley. Foley now towards the side of the field. Chasing it is Michael Buchanan. Buchanan now holds the ball. Then kicks it back towards Matty Rogers. Rogers now with the ball. Kicks it along the ground where it goes towards David Fay. Fay now fisted on towards Eddie Rispin. Rispin in possession, left footed. Towards Stephen Yo, Michael Moriarty is there. So too is Eddie Rispin. Right for the kick. Vincey Rennix is there. So too is Pat Bryan. Vincey comes up with the ball. Then boots it on towards Ken Rennix. Ken now with the ball. Little stummy and then still in possession. He's tackled but shakes it off and he's still going toward the hand. He kicks it across. It was meant for Stephen Yore, but it's intercepted there by Declan Rispin. Taken there by Eamon Munley. He boots it along the ground. Chased it there is Martin McCaffrey. He's tackled there and tackled hard. Well, he's still in possession. A bit of soccer now. Well, he gets the ball up. He's on the ground. He then fists it. Out where it's booted away there by Tommy Cassidy. Cassidy then fists it on towards Eddie Rispin. Toward the hand. And he's still going toe to hand. He then kicks it towards Peter Marley and held by Peter Marley. He's tackled by Keith McEvoy and he'll be awarded a free. Kicks across this side. Ronan Foley is there. So too is Joe Leahy. He gets it in towards David Brady. Well, I'd say he'll be awarded a penalty. If he's in the square. Yes, he is awarded a penalty. Well, the score remains. Trim 2-10. Alton's four points. Penalty now to be taken by Joe Leahy. He does play a bit of soccer. Well, can he put this one away? Here he comes with a kick. It's half blocked. Ball breaks out towards Justin Traver. Fist it back towards Michael Buchanan. Buchanan then kicks it right footed. It's high. It's good. And it's over the bar. And here come the Alton's now. In the attack. St. Dalton's 5, Trim 2-10. Michael Burton now with no hurry to kick it out. Placing the ball now on the 21-yard line. Here he comes with the kick. Into the centre of the field. Hands reaching, Ken Rennick is there, so too is Peter Marley. Marley's kick is blocked by Frank Foley. Ball breaks, Michael Buchanan gets in a boot, he gets it back towards Ken Rennick. Ken now in the possession. He then boots it right footed, up this side of the field where it's held by Tob Gibbons. Gibbons now with the ball. Fisted across towards Keith McEvoy. McEvoy boots it high, down the centre. Hands reaching. Well, the game is over. Very sporting game and the final score, Trim 2-10, St. Dalton's 5 points. Well, few faces looking disappointed, and could you blame them?
فوق الدبوب